بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو السلام علیکم دس از ڈاکٹر جہانگیر خان اینڈ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا اس کے ٹین اینڈ دن آئی ہیو اسٹارٹ دا جولائی پیپر اینڈ دس از دا سیکنڈ ہاف آف دا فرسٹ پیپر فار میڈیسن پیپر ویل آل کینڈیڈیٹ کین کین واچ دیم اٹس ناٹ اونلی فار میڈیسن اینڈ آئی ول ٹرائی ٹو کور آل دیز تھنگس بفور دا ایگزام سو دیٹ یو کین گیٹ دا میکسیمم بینیفٹ سو اسٹارٹنگ فرام دا سیونٹی سکس ٹل Uh, 75 we have covered in the previous video so over here the answer is right that is the pubic oxygen uh, the main muscle for the pelvic diaphragm is the levator and eye muscle and the levator and eye muscle this is the pubic oxygen uh, that is very important pattern and type of breathing peculiar and diabetic ketoacidosis that is a coastal breathing in a coastal breathing both the rate and depth is increased the rate and depth is increased the rate and depth is increased so that is the main thing in tachypnea only the rate is increased in tachypnea only the rate is increased not the depth is increased in the hyperapnea both the rate and depth is increased so if you, if the answer of coastal breathing is not there if there is no option like coastal breathing choose the hyperapnea Patient is suffering from dysphagia, disorder, analgesia, thermoanesthesia, and epsilator side of the face, and epsilator hornet syndrome, occlusion, and the following artery would produce the symptom. Now, when you see there is a dysarthria and dysphagia, we know there is a dysphagia and dysarthria. You are uh, 9 and 10 now, they are gone. And uh, analgesia, so loss of pain and temperature on the epsilator uh, side of the face. and epsilateral horner syndrome so uh, as far as the cbsp is concerned we know that you are having dysphagia and dysarthria along with the horner syndrome think of uh, medullary syndrome and this is actually veren berg syndrome and uh, you are not supposed to go into the detail but you just uh, realize this is posterior inferior posterior inferior cerebellar artery that is uh, the pica so the right answer over here is the a that is posterior inferior cerebellar artery the pica willenberg syndrome horner syndrome with dysphagia dysarthria think of medullary syndrome treatment for chai for obstructive sleep apnea is uvulo palato pharyngoplasty and uh, 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 of chai uh, the investigation of chai or the diagnosis of chai is uh, that is a uh, uh, plethysmography so in uh, plethysmography plethysmography is uh, actually uh, diagnostic modality for obstructive sleep apnea in which they are monitoring your brain heart and eye movement so this is actually uh, plethysmography and in brain that is eeg monitoring in heart that is holter monitor but in eye well they have put an e- electrodes and they are monitoring your uh, eye movements as well they are monitoring eye movements as well if question ask a patient is a diagnosed case of obstructive sleep apnea uh, for severity or uh, uh, to check how is the response what will you check answer is nocturnal drop in oxygen nocturnal and drop in oxygen saturation so that is the main thing in the uh, plethysmograph you are having eeg ecg the eye movement monitoring and you are having the saturation monitoring uh, so a pa- if a patient is already diagnosed case you will check the oxygen saturation you will check the oxygen saturation but if the person is not diagnosed you will, you will do plethysmography and uh, of chest treatment is you will have palato pharyngoplasty because it is the vibration of these structure that is causing the their snoring well why there is no uh, uh, problem during awakening the reason is when a person sleeps his parasympathetic system is activated when the parasympathetic system is activated it causes the airway constriction point number 1 point number 2 it causes the relaxation of muscle in the tongue in the uvula so the tongue falls back when the tongue falls back into the pharynx what happens during inspiration there is no problem because the inspiration is an active process and there is opening of the airways but during expiration it causes 
the vibration of these muscles the strong uvula and producing a sound a patient with purpura lab shows aptt and bt prolong will i will make another video on this pt aptt because there are a lot of confusions among the students regarding this mcq so over here the one will be one will print disease because uh, 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 the the only condition in which the breathing time is prolonged and the aptt is prolonged and the other things are <clears throat> and the other things are normal that is one will brain disease that is one will brain disease what amon k deficiency causes increase in pt what here pt is normal the factor 8 and factor 7 def deficiency causes only increase in aptt the breathing time is normal but only the one will brain disease that causes increase in aptt and increase in breathing time a 55 years old lady was given antidepressant later she tries to remove fly from her nose her hand had a flying movement this is characterized by now this the correct answer over here is the subthalamic symptom this is the subthalamic symptom and the, the diagnosis is this is the hemibelasmus in which the amplitude of the motion is increased uh, you do not you cannot perform the central proximal movement rather you perform the larger amplitude movement uh and this causes the contralateral symptoms now if the question says the patient was started on the antipsychotics if there is the word antipsychotics then you look for extra pyramidal symptoms you look for the extra pyramidal symptoms because you are having acetylcholine and you are having dopamine if you are giving the drug that decreases dopamine that are called antipsychotic drug so you are causing imbalance and this imbalance the increase in acetylcholine or decrease in dopamine causing extra pyramidal side effects what are the extra pyramidal side effects number 1 akathisia number 2 dystonia number 3 parkinson number 3 parkinson so these are the extra pyramidal side effects which is caused by the imbalance of of these uh, chemicals in the brain coming next what here this is subthalamic symptom a newborn has repeat now the athetosis is uh, uh, is a, a classic indian dance uh, of the of only the hands proximally there is no such movements but if there is a sudden flying movements of the hands then this is hemibelasmus if it is on one side if it is on both side then this is belasmus so a newborn has repeated respiratory infection this is due to now if the question says what is the most common uh, immunodeficiency the answer is most common immunoglobulins that is decreased in a uh, immunodeficiency is iga most common asymptomatic immunoglobulin deficiency iga deficiency most common overall iga most common asymptomatic iga most common symptomatic then igg most common symptomatic then igg most common symptomatic then igg over here a child is having repeated respiratory infections now this is become symptomatic point number 1 this is symptomatic so if uh, this become symptomatic so you have to uh, look for igg but if the question says a newborn was uh, there was a newborn and uh, you look for the immunoglobulins the iga was uh decreased but the child was having no symptoms or if they have not given you the clue but says that there is decrease in immunoglobulin but the child is asymptomatic the answer is iga the answer is iga the answer is iga and if symptomatic then most commonly it is igg then most commonly it is igg so coming next drug of choice for acute pancreatitis is this is morphine but drug of choice for acute pancreatitis in asthmatic is pethidine focus on this thing in in asthmatic pethidine oral morphine coming next steep caro now if this is your grop this is the steep caro this is mainly the steep caro and this is the flat caro so if you produce a little changes in doses in case of the steep caro there will be a greater response so a small dose produces a large change in flat caro if you produce even a large change in the dose there will be a lesser response so we have option c is right slow wave is characterized by now they are they are asking about the slow wave so that is characterized by low frequency the slow 
वे हो इस करेक्टर है बाई लो फ्रिक्वेंसी आई रिपीटेडली शेयर दिस रेफरेंस जस्ट टू क्लियर यूर कंसेप्ट एंड यू हैव टू गो थ्रू दैट रेफरेंस सो दैट यू डू नाट मिस दम सी क्यू कमिंग टू वर्ड दैट रेफरेंस बस ऑफ दिस इज टू 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 शो यू नॉट ओनली द रेफरेंस बट you have to memorize these thing because the cpsp is going to ask them again and again so over here if you see this is the slow wave sleep this is the slow wave sleep and the frequency is the lowest the delta waves and the amplitude is the highest the amplitude is the highest bruxism is in the stage 2 the in two the sorry the in two stage there is the deeper sleep so over here the answer is low frequency that is 0 to 4 hertz coming back so our here is the low frequency coming next the side effects similar to theophylline and nitroglycerin are that is tachycardia tachycardia the theophylline directly causes the tachycardia the nitroglycerin causes vasodilation if there is a vasodilation so there is decrease in bp so there is sympathetic stimulation that is causes the increase in heart rate So there is a reflex tachycardia. So tachycardia. Narrow carrying efferent fibers are. So the opt optic narrow carry the the efferent fiber. The this is the clear cut MCQ. The shopkeeper suddenly collapsed after having severe chest pain. What happens to the shopkeeper? Now pulmonary embolism over here is the right answer. But I am going to tell you the complete scenario, and this controversy must be removed. A shopkeeper, uh, suddenly collapsed. and uh, before uh, collapse he was having severe chest pain and he was having severe epigastric pain this is the complete scenario severe chest pain severe epigastric pain now his bp in the left arm was 80 by 30 and his bp in the right arm was 1 190 by 120 what is your diagnosis this is the clear cut scenario of aortic dissection leading to death aortic dissection this is the case of aortic dissection now <clears throat> the cpsp can change this the, the scenario same scenario patient collapsed shopkeeper collapsed he was having severe chest pain and he is having a bp of 90 by 30 and a pulse rate of 120 the answer is pulmonary embolism the answer is pulmonary embolism now note my each and every word same scenario shopkeeper suddenly collapsed severe epigastric and chest pain and his bp was 90 by 60 and the pulse was 40 the answer is cardiogenic shock the answer is cardiogenic shock massive um, uh, um, uh, massive anterior wall, um, sorry inferior wall mi now what i want to focus you on this thing if there is a uh, epigast uh, chest pain and epigastric pain and there is a change in the uh, there is a difference in bp of both arm then this is aortic dissection if there is a uh, chest pain and there is low bp but the pulse is high that is more than 90 then this is not mi because the only mi uh, uh, which give you bradycardia and shock is the inferior wall mi though inferior wall mi can also give you the hypotension and the uh, uh, tachycardia but the most common finding is that is the bradycardia not the tachycardia and uh, in case of pulmonary embolism uh, the bp is low and the pulse is high because your heart is normal in case of that so keep in mind the aortic dissection when to choose aortic dissection if they have given you a bp of difference in both arm um, when to choose the mi if there is bradycardia if the heart rate is low if the heart rate is low and when to choose uh, pulmonary uh, pulmonary embolism when the heart rate is high and the bp is low this is called massive pulmonary embolism coming next so over here uh, i will check the pulmonary embolism because no clue is given bronchogenic ca is caused by uh, bronchogenic ca is caused by cmv more than hpv oropharyngeal is hpv nasopharyngeal is epstein barr virus so the main thing is regarding the physiology the main the main purpose of my lecture is the physiology uh, because the cpsp can change the physiology so the bronchogenic ca is caused by um in the cmv bronchogenic ca is caused by the cmv 
primary auditory cortex lies in so this is superior temporal lobe superior temporal lobe you can search it uh, on google directly they will give you primary auditory cortex uh, that lies in the superior temporal lobe which x y c a m p that is msh msh melanocyte stimulating hormone not the trh which of the following is potent antioxidant the answer is glutathione if there is no glutathione then the answer is vitamin e coming next that the order is given after bomb blast injury type of deafness will be both mixed deafness because it causes perforation in the air drum and it directly causes damage to the cochlea bilirubin liver increase in the malaria why not a because it says the inter liver cells bound with albumin no the the bilirubin is produced in the in the spleen and reticular endothelial cell when the rbc are destroyed now the bilirubin then attaches to the albumin now when it comes toward the liver the albumin is left outside only the bilirubin enters so it does not enter the cell bound with albumin it enter the cell without albumin is produced by hepatitis a virus no it is produced by hepatocytes c is right 70 kg men with 60% total body water how much is present in icf so 70 kg men 60% total body water so the total body water is 42 liter 2/3 2/3 of it is in the intracellular fluid 1/3 in the extracellular fluid now the 2/3 of 42 liter is how much that is 28 that is 28 simple and the 1/3 is again divided into the 1/3 that is almost 14 liter this is the extracellular so the extracellular fluid contains consists of two things the fluid inside the blood vessel and the fluid outside the blood vessel that is interstitium so the fluid inside the blood vessel that is 3 liter that is plasma total blood volume is 5 liter na so 3 liter is made of uh, plasma and the rest of the 11 liter they they form the interstitium so there is another mcq in the interstitium how much fluid is there the answer is 11 liter 11 liter and in the blood how much fluid is there that is 3 liter 3 liter 2 liter are actually the formed element of the blood such as rbc platelets and wbc <coughs> so this is the normal distribution 20 kg means 60% total body water so you take 60% of 70 kg so 60 divided by 100 into 70 separate 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 six seven is a forty two. If they give you a high mass such as eighty kg or ninety kg, then again you take out percentage like this and then divide into two third and one third and the one third uh, you again uh, divide that into the three fourth and one fourth. You will get the intras uh, intravascular interstitium. The intravascular is uh, uh, again now the one fourth and the three fourth is in the interstitium. glands are present in the uh, submucosa uh, peduncular knee jerk is uh, caused by uh, cerebellum so when you are having a lesion in cerebellum there will be peduncular uh, knee jerk and an alcoholic and hyperthyroid patient uh, easy fatigue dyspnea mcv is raised atopic gastritis so the answer is vitamin b12 deficiency uh, this is megaloblastic anemia due to alcoholic local cause of prolonged wound healing is uh, that is a uh, infection or uh, if the infection is not given then the foreign body and systemic is diabetes mellitus prolonged survival of graft is possible with which are the following so a gamma globulinemia the reason is because these are the 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 antibody the graft rejection is caused by the immune system if your immune system is not working so it means uh, uh, a gamma globulinemia uh, there will be no rejection of the graft there will be increased survival prolonged qrs complex is seen in the ventricular hypertrophy uh, straightforward question uh, ventricular arrhythmias atrial atrial hypertrophy the atrial hypertrophy will give you 
what so the right atrial hypertrophy and the left atrial hypertrophy if it is the left atrial hypertrophy then the bifid p wave is called p pulmonary if the right atrial hypertrophy then it will give you a giant p wave why coming toward that you are having p wave and you are having qrs and t wave this p wave is produced due to the atria the right atria and the left atria normally it is produced by the right atria now if you are having the enlargement of the left atria as well so there is another impulse generation from the left atrium so you are having normal p wave and another p wave so another p wave is due to the left enlarged atrium and if you enlargement of this so you are already p wave become giant p wave regarding newborn which is true the c shape vertebral column which of the following is is used for determining disease versus non disease so case control study in which you give you take case and other control so disease versus non disease superior lateral artery is a branch of again repeating again and again so you can memorize this thing superior in inferior mesenteric artery middle internal or inferior internal pulmonary artery which of the following is true about gluteus maximus muscle now focus on this it forms the gluteal fold no this is the most common wrong answer the gluteal fold is not formed by this keep in mind well you can search it on the google uh, though the muscle passes behind uh, below this but the fold is actually the skin fold it is not by the gluteus maximus it has four bursas no it has three bursas wrong it has a blood supply solely from the inferior gluteal artery no both inferior and superior it is the chief control of the hip flexion no it causes the hip extension and the chief control of the hip flexion is also the gluteus medius and minimus not the maximus and it has 50% fibers arising so it has actually 30 to 40% fiber that are attached to the gluteal tuberosity so over here i will pick the option e the option e coming next renal fascia is an extension of pararenal fascia is an extension of renal fascia or gerota fascia these are two are the, the, the same thing gerota fascia if there is not an option in renal fascia minor calus is receiving urine from the papilla yes you are having the renal pyramids so they they form a conical structure this is a papilla and then from there you are having minor calus and major calus finding suggest your polycythemia and male smoker increase rbc mass because this can also occur in dehydration but this only occur in the uh, true polycythemia headache after lp is due to fox cerebri compression fox cerebri compression in a normal healthy person the second heart sound is yes it occurs during as i have uh, explained the rectangle if you remember this is was isolimetric contraction this was isolimetric relaxation so it was s1 and it was s2 so the second heart sound is produced during isolimetric relaxation during isolimetric relaxation now coming toward the other thing general vibration in the ventricular wall during systole no it is during diastole because if 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 this is your right atrium right when right left atrium this is left ventricle and right ventricle so uh if the aorta is arising from this so during systole what happens the wall open and the vibration are transmitted along the aorta but during diastole the blood comes backward and there is a strong closure of the walls when there is a closure of the wall it transmit the vibration along the ventricle so that is during diastole has a duration of about 0.11 second the 0.14 second is for s1 is caused by ventricular filling no the is two that is is three is caused by ventricular filling not is two it is caused due to the closure of the aortic wall and pulmonic wall and s1 is produced due to the closure of mitral wall and tricuspid wall normally has low frequency no time duration is short that is 0.11 so the frequency is high so it has a high frequency occurs during isolimetric relaxation yes this is the right answer coming next amoeba commonly reside in cecum in acute exacerbation of asthma 
most appropriate is if e1 by if we see if that is not in the option then peak exploratory flow rate recessed tumor found down biopsy showed vessels if there are vessels so it means that is vascular endothelial dried growth factors they cause angiogenesis increased formation of vessel amyloid plaques and neurofibrillary tangles are associated with alzheimer disease and that shows the degeneration of neurons complication of diabetic foot now this is a poor recall <clears throat> most common complication of uh, diabetes in foot is dry gangrene diabetic foot is an example of this is wet gangrene when you say this is diabetic foot it means you are having infection dry gangrene plus infection so the complication of uh, diabetic uh, foot this is not uh, the true stem this true stem uh, was the other two which i explained so focus on this complication of a uh, diabetic foot i would choose i would choose were here the wet gangrene if the stem is not like that i talked about because the diabetic foot means wet gangrene which of the following is present in the middle of medulla now i will explain at the end of the lecture or i will make another video on this medulla because there is a lot of confusion you are having the upper third the middle third and the lower third so what structures are lying there <coughs> and uh, how uh, you should uh, memorize this i mean you should clear the concept because a lot of the times the the, the stem is deficient and when you program your mind with the wrong answer then there is a 90% chance that you will choose the wrong answer in the exam so don't preoccupy your mind with this because there are a lot of confusion regarding this the nucleus ambiguous the hypoglossal nucleus dorsal vagus nucleus and the trigeminal nerve nucleus so we'll explain this uh, later on a worker in a factory presented with peripheral neuropathy what can be the probable cause lead poisoning iodine will secrete in the urine paramexo virus and control group causes for which a so titer was being done now there is there are two groups if you are taking one group the control group where is the case group we don't know poor poor recall poor stem coming next source of progesterone in the second and third trimester is so for the previous scenario uh, pick the answer a because all other are uh, related to the rheumatic fever the answer a is a different source of progesterone in the second trimester is uh, placenta and the first trimester mainly corpus luteum the change of epithelium from one type to another is metaplasia but uh, if they say the change of epithelium from one type to another and there is a risk of uh, mets has a tendency toward the mets then choose the uh, Uh, the dysplasia or anaplasia first choose the anaplasia if there is not an option then choose the dysplasia but over here uh, change of epithelium from one to another this is metaplasia if the question says change of epithelium from one type to another with a loss of polarity then this is dysplasia if the question says change of epithelium from one type to another and loss of polarity in a uh, uh, highly high risk for um, uh, for uh, metastasis then choose the anaplasia marker diagnostic diagnostic for ca colon is cea cea and this is mainly for the recurrence of ca colon not for the actual diagnosis it is mainly used for the recurrence of the disease so use we use this for recurrence of a disease if a person is having a, a removal of that mass and um, there is colectomy so you do after 5 years or 6 years to look for the recurrence of disease in the pregnancy pregnancy test which hormone is measured in urine you do you measure the beta hcg what are the following can cause platelet aggregation that is the thromboxane a2 <coughs> the true about the true about rem sleep is uh, the benzodiazepine that uses the rem sleep 40 year male with a history of 20 years smoking bronchoscopy will show metaplasia and that is the squamous metaplasia most potent stimulation for hyperprolactinemia is suckling of the baby patients suffer from bitemporal hemianopia with pres prolactin pituitary adenoma which of the following helps in optionization so the c3b 
if you reverse agar is b ko aap ulta karo it is p so it will look like optionization a patient brought to er in a state of shock and recorded bb with heart failure so when you are having heart failure the answer is when you are having heart failure the answer is dabutamine i would choose the, the answer dabutamine if there is a heart failure or there is a cardiogenic shock the the first thing is the dabutamine why not dopamine because dopamine increasing the heart contractility but it also causes vasospasm there is increase after load so the heart cannot push the blood against the high resistance so there is deterioration of the heart failure the your heart goes into more failure the dabutamine it causes vasodilation so it decreases the after load and increases the heart contractility so it improves the symptoms of cardiac failure and i have uploaded a- another video for the clinical when to give dabutamine and how and that is the reason dabutamine decreases the after load it causes vasodilation and causes increased contractility of the heart the problem with dopamine is it causes vasoconstriction in causing the cardiac contractility so you are you you are actually increasing the after load and you are contracting the heart so your heart muscles are already weak so they are not they are not properly contracting they are not properly functioning against the high resistance so the cardiogenic shock or the heart failure the first choice is not dopamine it is dabutamine for septic shock nor if epinephrine is the right answer for anaphylactic if epinephrine is the right answer if epinephrine is the right answer and for the cardiac arrest the epinephrine is the right answer and if 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 epinephrine is not working the next is amiodarone amiodarone coming next what am i required for acetyl co as pentothenic acid because it form the coenzyme a slowest conduction is found in av node but if the question says increase conduction time these two are the different thing increase conduction time is seen in the av node but decrease conduction in the av node in increase con- uh, decrease conduction is in the av node decrease conduction and if they asking the time increase conduction time so peris this is the same thing ab node combined efficiency of riboflavin and niacin so coming next so it will cause the beri beri if both uh, sorry it will cause pellagra if both are deficient the niacin if both are deficient the riboflavin and the niacin the deficiency of riboflavin causes what chelosis chelosis and niacin causes what the niacin deficiency causes pellagra so the pellagra is superior as compared to the chelosis the riboflavin does not uh, cause serious problem but this is the niacin that is causing the serious problem so you have to pick the uh, pellagra you have to pick the pellagra coming next temperature monitoring is done by anterior hypothalamus not anterior pituitary printing mistake 20 year old man has a dyspnea and lying down retrosternal guide to secondary cartilaginous joint presence of fiber cartilage between the bone droplet infection 1 to 3 feet that is droplet 3 to 6 that is airborne that is airborne true about mitochondrial mutation is mitochondria derived from the mother mesocolonotype posterior to spleen by there is the ghost gastrocolic ligament gastrocolic ligament sleep steep curve for dose adjustment shows so a small dose more response discussed right now a few minutes ago pancreatic enzyme deficiency causes what now abnormal formation of abnormal absorption of micelles is not the right answer it is abnormal formation of micelles because it helps in the formation of micelles not the absorption the actual word is abnormal formation of micelles lactose intolerance is not caused by it that is the lactase enzyme deficiency mainly the lactase enzyme deficiency because the lactose is broken down by the lactase and the decrease absorption of triglyceride that is the right answer why 
because the triglyceride is converted to monoglyceride and fatty acids by the pancreatic enzyme and then that is absorbed into the blood and again in the body they convert into triglycerides so if you are having no pancreatic enzyme so there will be decreased absorption and decrease content of triglycerides in the body so coming next which heart sound is felt on the left vestibular third intercostal space so that is aortic regurg focus on these two thing not aortic stenosis because if you see this is your aorta coming like if this is your heart so this is the left ventricle so aorta arises from this so if there is aortic regurg that will give sound in the uh, left parasternal third space this is called a2 area the normal aortic area is in the right second intercostal that is a1 area and this is aortic 2 area the aortic 2 area is mainly for aortic regurg and the a2 area sorry the a1 area or the a area there is mainly for aortic stenosis coming next structure present deep in the cortex is the insula 50 years old male is unable to recognize faces 50 years old lady is unable to recognize faces which area is affected the answer is fusiform cortex fusiform gyrus i have already uploaded clue on my facebook page as well as on the famous group 2005 2010 wala superficial face is a mixture of loose areolar tissue and adipose tissue bile salts were absorbed by the ileum very old male patient presented with hb of 10 till c68 platelet count this much morphology also normal iron tbc will be given with iron staining what is the cause of this condition well there is a poor recall i don't know if the, there is a, the iron staining and the all the cells are normal so i will explain the two things over here if there is the iron staining look for the sideroblastic anemia sideroblastic anemia and the alveolar hemorrhages well i don't know uh, why they have pick the option hepatitis c if anyone has having reference can share in the comment section coming next last two mcqs a middle aged man suffering from hypoxia and arterial po2 is 50 his red cell count is increased so he is having hypoxic hypoxia most probably he is living uh, an altitude so this is the right sequence is the histotoxic hypoxia carbon dioxide poisoning cause anemic hypoxia polycythemia cardiogenic shock cause stagnant hypoxia the sorry the cardiogenic shock cause stagnant hypoxia and the stagnant hypoxia cause polycythemia because of decrease oxygen supply to the kidney increases erythropoietin and causes polycythemia high altitude causes hypoxic hypoxia hypotension and vasodilation is due to septic shock is the Uh, although it can be caused by the anaphylactic shock as well there is hypotension and vasodilation and uh, it can be caused by neurogenic shock as well hypotension and vasodilation so look for the word except the hypotension and vasodilation is due to if there is the word except the answer is cardiogenic shock but if there is no such thing like cardiogenic shock then all of the three are uh, possible but uh, Uh, look uh, for the whole stem and study the stem properly and study the stem properly so how would you differentiate between this the septic shock is the only shock in which the cardiac output is increased neurogenic shock is the only shock in which there is bradycardia in which there is bradycardia anaphylactic shock is the only shock in which there is bronchospasm and wheeze So look for the clues in the stem.